beautiful people welcome to another insight with tutorial on this beautiful channel and in today's video we shall be learning the formula which helps us to draft our flounces easily professionally without any form of wastage to our fabrics the formula is l plus r times 2 equals to d in which L stands for the length of the flounce that you want to draft and R is the radius which is dependent on the circumference, the part where the flounce will be attached and the 2 is constant while D stands for the dimension of fabric that is required for that particular flounce. This formula can be rewritten as L plus R on one side and another L plus R equals to D so that when you have those flounces that are the high and low, two different lengths, you could actually use this formula, rewritten form of it, to draft your flounces easily. So you'll be having this L as the longest length while the other L will be for the shorter length and you are simply good to go drafting your flounce easily so if this seems to be something you are interested in then you need to watch this video till the very end don't forget to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up without further ado let's now go into the tutorial fully i'm sorry for my voice to learn this formula I have this upper part of an Amo Princess bustier that we learned some time ago on this channel. And I'll be going ahead to cut two layers of flounce attached to the waistline. So for the first layer, I intend to do length 6 inches. Then for the longer layer, I intend to do length 9 inches. So applying this formula now, let me write out the formula L plus R times 2 equals to D. Now for the first layer, which is length 6, remember we need to add same allowance up and down to attach and to finish up the hemline. So I add 1 inch extra to make 7 inches. Now the radius will be dependent on the parts where we are attaching the flounce, which is at the waistline. So I measure my waistline. And I'll be adding zipper allowance because the peplum will get to the zipper. One inch here, one inch on the other side will add up to the circumference. So actual waist circumference is 40. Then plus the zipper allowance to be attached will make 42 inches. Now I have a table attached to this formula, which is based on an exercise performed. You can also perform this exercise to test how real, how authentic this table is. All you need to do is simply to get an edge of a table or brown paper this way and draw out angle 90. And from the angle now, pick up a particular radio, let's say one to one and a half. Then from this point to the other point, you'll be measuring what that radius will give you and check with what you have on this table. So for this particular one, I'll check the column that has the circumferences. I'm working now with waist 42, actual waist of 40 plus zip allowance. So I'll check the radius. That's the part I'm attaching it, the waist. So I'll check the radius, which is six and a half. So I'll go ahead now to impute that value, 6.5, then I'll be adding it up to the length, 6 plus 1, which is 7. So 7 plus 6.5 is 13.5 times 2 now is going to be 27 and a half, I guess. No, no, sorry, 27. I'm sorry about that. So that's the dimension of fabric. So which we are going to be cutting out is square 27 by 27 that's all so i'll go ahead now to cut the dimension of fabric but let's check out the exercise performed from this angle we came up with one inch and by the time you measure from this end to the other end you get what you have 
and if you increase it also measure the circumference you have a particular value increasing it to about two inches from this end to the other end you also measure so that's how you go about it and cross check what you have on this column and circumference and radius so you can check it out yourself so here is the dimension of fabric 27 by 27 i'm leaving that to myself edge so i'll simply go ahead now and cut out the fabric so i have to cut it now to fold it into two this way then again we'll fold making it into four so make sure it's relaxed then I'll need to cross check what I have, which should be half of 27, that's 13 and a half, since we have folded it into two and again into two. So I have to 13.5, 13.5 the other way around. So I'll go ahead now to get my full circle drawn out. By coming to this edge, I'm measuring out 13.5, 13.5. 13.5 like that all the way then connect all the points together then for the radius the radius you make use of is 6.5 so i'll be making sure it's intact and while my length is seven so we are still intact radius 6.5 to be cut out so i'll be taking the radius from that angle 6.5 all the way I will connect giving us a perfect circle so this is what we have so let's cross check what we have what that radio six and a half is giving us so measure it gradually you can see this is 40 and quarter thereabouts so we are simply good to go but you need to check how elastic your fabric so that you might know whether to cut on this end or to simply bring out your hand a little before cutting so that it is not wider than the part where we are touching it this depends on fabric anyway how elastic it is so for this i'll not cut on the exact line so i just simply move up my hand a little it's better to have a flange short than to not make it excess turning our flange now to freeze what we want to do is flange so this is what i have so I'll cut it open on one hand and this will be our zipper side. So I'll not for my zipper, then locate the center front this way. So I'll connect the two notches together to be able to get the side seam. So this is what we have. So let's take it out, we're going to attach. This notch will be at the center front. The other notching will be at the side while the other zipper notching will go round to the center back side so that is it for this layer the shorter layer so for this longer layer like nine i'll be making use of this fabric they will need to do the calculation again l plus r times two equals to d to know the dimension of fabric needed for that particular flounce so length is 9 plus seam up and down to attach and finish up so that gives us 10. Still the same waist measurement plus the zipper allowance that we did so we'll still be using the 6.5. 10 plus 6.5 is 16.5 times 2. That is going to give us 33. So that is the dimension of fabric needed for this particular flounce. 33 by 33. So I'll go ahead now to cut my fabric 33 by 33. So this is what we have. 33 inches by 33 inches the other way. Like so. So I'll cut it out just like we did the first one. So after cutting, we'll simply fold into two. Then again, into another two, making it into four. 
Then from that angle now, we cross check what we have, which will be 16.5. So again, we'll be using this to get our perfect circle drawn out. 16.5, 16.5 from that angle as the radius all the way like so. They will connect all the points together. And afterwards, we're taking our radius again, which is 6.5, 6.5, 6.5, 5, like so. Then we'll check what that radius is giving us. Should be giving us about the same thing like the first one. You can see for 10 and quarter rather. So we're not going to be cutting on the exact part because of how elastic the fabric is. So I'll move up my hand a little bit, then you'll cut. Some fabric are very elastic, so you need to watch that. So this is what we have afterwards. Then I'll cut through at one end from my zipper to the notching. Then the other end will be the center front. Putting the two notches together once again will locate our side seam easily. So this is now the longer layer. Here was the first layer that we did. So this is how it will look like matching all the notching points together for evenness so as to distribute easily so by the time you attach it, this is what you have so you can attach this way and for the edges of your flounce you can use your sedger to finish it up and if you are not doing that you could actually cut out your lining full circle as well for each of these layer and we'll use it to finish up the hemline neatly and if you do not want it to be flat, you can actually put your interfacing, thick interfacing like this, which will be attached to the lining to make it bounce, not flat. Or you could make use of your crinoline to be added to the hemline to give it that wavy effect. Whichever way you are just good to go, depending on the effect you want to create on your flats. So attaching now, this is what we have. Actually made use of the interfacing, the thick one. And with neat finishing, you are good to go like so. So this is the final outcome of our blouse. The flans have been attached and we are able to do the calculation easily without any form of wastage to our fabric. Like I said, these are L plus rad times 2 equals to D can be rewritten as L plus rad on one side, another L plus rad on the other side equals to D. So that when you have those flounces having two different lengths, you can simply apply this formula. Then you have one length on one side, then you put the value of the other length on the other side. The radius, still the same radius, depending on the parts you are attaching, will give you the dimension of fabric when you do the calculation. So for such flounces like this, your cape, the high and low, you can actually make use of this formula. I have a video already in which we learned how to do this particular design, high and low. And was this formula that we applied without wastage to our fabric. We were able to calculate the dimension of fabric required for the high and low flounce. Having cut out our fabric this way, we went ahead to fold into two and again into two, just like we have done. And using the half of the measure, we got a full circle out this way. But for this particular type of flounce, you are not to pick it at the angle once you cut that you need to spread it out this way and from one end you'll be picking the length of the longer layer or the shorter layer whichever one so here i'm picking the length of the longer layer this way then i mark then from the other end i'll be picking the length of the shorter layer and i'll go ahead and mark so what i should have in between will be the radius that was used to cut out the flans that was added to each of the length to cut it out 
So I find the midpoint of the radius this way. I also mark it out. Then I'll be aligning the length together, the radius this way and the length together this way. Such that from this angle now, I have my radius marked out. Then I could pick the length of the shorter layer. You can see it this way. Then from that same point, you get the length of the longer layer that way. So that's how to apply this formula for this particular flounce. So I'll go ahead now back to the radius to be able to cut out the radius. Then we'll have our flounce high and low already. So that was what we did for this particular one. You could look up that video for more detail and analysis for better understanding. So cutting it out and also cross-checking what we have will be equal to the parts we are attaching it. No excess, no wastage to fabric. If this video has been helpful, kindly give it a thumbs up. Here is the formula and the table once again, which you can screenshot and also attempt that exercise to check how authentic it is for you. And you may also join our pay class on flans where you learn how to apply this table and the formula more. And you also learned how to draft your flounce in diverse forms. Contact the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. Until my next video, as usual, thank you for watching. La Perry College of Fashion, raising professionals.